Hello children, and in this memory work video we are going to continue memorizing our um, English grammar part of speech poem. Right, so hopefully you've got it down pat by now, but if you don't, here yeah, I've got some things to help you. So, every name is called a noun, and try and guess what's, which words are under the little blocks before I click on them. Every name is called a noun as field and fountain street and town. In place of noun, the pronoun stands, as he and she can clap their hands. The adjective describes a thing as magic wand or bridal ring. The verb means action, something done, as read and write and jump and run. How things are done, the adverb tells as quickly, slowly, badly, well. The preposition shows relation as in the street or at the station. Conjunctions join in many ways, sentences, words or phrase and phrase. The interjection cries out, hark, I need an exclamation mark. So I've got a bit of a game to see how we can apply the kind of things that we've learnt in our poem. Uh, in those clouds above there, we've got the verb cloud, the adjective cloud, adverb cloud, and noun cloud. And I want to know if you can guess which clouds the words at the bottom need to go to. All right, so I'm going to, for example, say that quickly... Oh, by the way, and if you guess the wrong cloud, if you send the word to the wrong cloud, it has a little bit of a storm. Okay, so I'm going to say, for example, that quickly, oh, that sounds like a describing word. That sounds like an adjective. I'm going to send quickly to the adjective cloud. Oh, no, storm, that doesn't seem right. Quickly describes how something is done, so it is an adverb. Okay, you run quickly or you jump quickly. All right, so an adverb um, just, uh, sort of adds description to the doing word. It says how something is done. And so we're going to send quickly to the adverbs. Right, next one, moon. I think I'm going to send that to the noun cloud. Let's see if I'm right. That's correct. The moon goes to the noun cloud. It's a, it's a thing. Gently. Hmm, we've fallen into that trap before. I think it goes to the adverbs cloud. It says how something is done. And that's correct. I hope you are guessing this with me and that you are getting things right as well. And try and spot if I get something wrong. Cape Town. Hmm, that's tricky. Actually, it's not really. I think it's a noun. It's a proper noun, but it comes into the nouns cloud. Bigger. I think I'm going to send that to the adjectives cloud because it's describing a thing or a person or a place. Apple. That's easy. Now, wobble. Hmm. Oh, I haven't had a verb yet. I wonder if it's wobbling. That's right. Wobble is a verb. What about jumped? This one. That's an action, isn't it? A uh, gentle, gentle. That is a description. That's an adjective. It's describing something. Run. Oh, technically verb. Gentleness. Hmm. Remember, nouns can be person, place, thing, idea, or quality. I think gentleness is a noun. But speak. Oh, that's an action, isn't it? There we go. Bravely. Hmm. I think that's an adverb because it describes how something is done. It's done bravely. Suitcase. Oh, no guesses there. That is a noun. Children, I hope you got all those right at home. Let's see. Oh, here's another part of the game. We have the pronoun cloud, the conjunction cloud, preposition cloud, and interjection cloud. Let's see if we get these right. And, hmm, that 
That's a joining word, isn't it? That's a conjunction. Oh, phew, good, no storm. Oh, mm, that's an it has an exclamation mark. It's something that's inserted. It's a interjection. But, where does but go? That is a conjunction. It joins two phrases. Alas, ah, interjection. Let's see if I'm right. I hope you guys got that right too. Or, conjunction. Oh, we need to get some, some help to these other clouds. I think they're missing out. If only, oh, that's another interjection. She, oh, that is a pronoun. It's in place of a noun. Let's say the sentence was, Jane put on her shoes. She left the room. Okay. Instead of Jane put on her shoes, Jane left the room. It stands in for her. His. Uh, I think that's also a pronoun. What do you think? There we go. That could be, John rode his bike. Instead of John rode John's bike. Mm, because... That is a conjunction. Joins two phrases. I didn't go to the movie because I had too much homework. Hope that's not true of you guys. Oh, well, none of us can go to movies at the moment, hey? Uh, let's see. It. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's a pronoun. Because, let's say, for example, John rode his bike. Then he put it in the shed. It. Instead of saying John rode his bike and then John put his bike in the shed. The it, the pronoun, stands in for the noun. Next we've got under. Under. Ooh. I think that is a preposition. It shows relationship. A relation. The ball is under the table. It shows the position of the ball relative to the table. It's a preposition. What about there? you say pronoun, you'd be right there. Let's say John and Jane came in with their bikes. They put their bikes in the shed. Instead of John and Jane came home, John and Jane came home with their bikes, they, John and Jane, and uh, they, uh, John and Jane put John and Jane's bikes in the shed. Do you see how awkward that would be? Right. Uh, at. Mm, I'm going to go for position because it shows relation um, I placed my Wellington boots at the front door it shows the position of the Wellington boots relative to the front door or hmm, I think that's also a preposition it shows a relationship of position right so I hope you guys had lots of fun with that, and um, you see that from how uh, from the game that we played, how having memorized the parts of speech poem helps you to identify certain parts of speech are.